Open Broadcaster Software Studio, often just referred to as OBS, is the best way to stream for free for many. In this video from Envato Tuts Plus, we'll show you how to add and use sources and how to cut between two video sources in OBS. The system of scenes and sources in OBS is great for setting up various recording targets like monitors, applications and webcams, and then switching between them or even combining them in your production. A source looks at where the data for your recording comes from, and a scene is how you choose to group those together. You can have as many sources in a scene as you like, but you'll likely want to stick to one scene for each source, as it's easier to switch between scenes than it is to switch between sources contained in a scene. You need a scene to be able to add a source, and OBS adds one by default. To add a source, you click on the scene that you want to add it to, and then click the plus button for a list of choices. When you make a choice, you'll be given the option to name it something relevant, and maybe some other options depending on the source type you've chosen. The two most used sources for screen recording are screen capture and window capture, so let's take a look at those now. Display capture, or screen capture if you're on Linux, records from a specified screen and will capture anything that happens on it. In the settings for this source, you'll be able to choose your available monitors if you have more than one, and decide whether to capture your cursor or not. Selecting this source will give you an odd, never-ending window display. That's normal. You can manually resize the source to fit by dragging the red bounding box if you need to. One reason to do this might be if you're looking to combine more than one source into a scene and need to make the source smaller than the canvas area. Moving on to window capture, it's similar to screen capture, but you can stick to a specific application. Click the plus sign in Sources and add Window Capture. You can then select your target application from the drop-down list under Window. If I select Adobe Photoshop, the Capture window will show that application as a whole, without the clutter of the Start bar that I've got at the bottom of the screen, though it does leave a blank space, which you can get around by setting your application to full screen or manually resizing the window. Even if you flip your application across to another monitor, OBS will keep tracking it. The downside of this method is that nothing that would usually pop up over the program will be shown, so if you access a menu in Photoshop, you won't see that drop down in OBS. If that's what you need to show, then you should use screen capture as a source instead of window capture. To switch between scenes easily, make sure that you're not in studio mode, as changes reflect that in an edit screen before going live. You'll know that you're in studio mode if you see two screens rather than one. Click on the scene that you want to go to and OBS will transition to it. You can choose the type of transition, like fade or cut, by clicking the button underneath scene transitions on the bottom right. Now you know how to add and use sources and how to quickly transition between them. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for more video tutorials here at Envato Tuts Plus.